True Detective Season 3 Trailer 2 Yeah For Blaze How you been, killer? Woke up this morning After another one of those Will and Julie I can't find him anywhere. I am a bit unenthusiastic about this, primarily because I read the story about uh, what is what is his name, Pizzolatta. Pizzolatto, yeah. Pizzolatto, yeah. yeah. And um, that he was sort of like he when he created the first season, he had been doing that for a long time, and then it became a hit, and then he had to create the second season that sucked. And then I believe the third season might be more of the same. Although, if I want to be cautiously optimistic, I would say that they could have learned from their mistakes. Yeah. Uh, I like Marshall Ali. He's really good. Um, I, I didn't see the second season. Mm -hmm. I'm re-watching the first one now because... We were watching it at home, and the significant other hasn't seen it. Cool. Um, and I'm again, I'm blown away by how good that series is. But it's it's good not because I mean the 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 story itself is kind of interesting, mm. and I like that southern gothic uh, uh, kind of Lovecraft mm. feel. Yeah. To the to the whole thing. Yeah, it looks a lot like the one from '95. But, well, you knew that already. My question is, how could it be him if we already caught him in '95? So that's interesting, but much more interesting is how indeed is the two characters. Yeah, I mean, Harrelson and McConaughey are just so good mm. in those roles that I'm. I'm suspecting that part of the reason why the second series wasn't as good was that Vince Vaughn and Colin Farrell just aren't yeah. that good. And they, I mean, when you think about the character of Matthew McConaughey, he's, I mean, that is a really interesting character. Yeah. I mean, this really, really weird guy. Yeah who is also really intelligent. And then you have this sort of like a right. kind of a... Well, it's, well, it says in the beginning that... Uh, uh, something about uh, needing a stable man and the smart man or something like that. There's this yeah. speech from uh, the Woody Harrison yeah. character and it plays out perfectly in the series also because Woody is sort of this stable, normal person in a way. Yeah. Sort of weird but still normal and then you have this really eccentric character. Yeah. But in philosophical terms I'm what's called a pessimist. Um, okay, what's that mean? It means I'm bad at parties. Let me tell you, you ain't great outside of parties either. Yeah, it's, I, I think that um, Pizzolatto has said that, that he wants to, the True Detective series is about um, sort of exploring the myths and problems of, of the modern man. Hmm. Um, no problem. And that, <laughs> that's no problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that, that was evident in the first series. And mm. I, 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 I don't know. I mean, uh, the trailer for the third one was kind of... It was a bit jumbled up. Mm, yeah. I didn't really get a sense of what I was mm. going to be expecting, yeah. apart from, again, two detectives who are sort of... have some sort of person personal issues mm. that they have to deal with and and then there's the flashback thing which was yeah. which was a big thing in the first mm. first series as well it's like a thing staring right at us oh, got that feeling myself no it's just a case when i caught it i know it'd be my last but i don't really have it anything to compare it to i i'm sort of I should probably watch the second series. I sort of want to watch it, but it, it was I was turned off by the fact that it was panned 
when it came out. Mm. And I don't know if it was panned because it was bad or it was panned because the first one was so good that it was so hard to compete. A um, little bit of both. Probably, yeah. I mean, it's not, it's, it is a yep. mediocre thing. I mean, if that, if that was the first, if the season two was, had been the season one of True Detective, I think it would have, would have received a, a better reception. Yeah. But um, it's still not that great. It's uh, a lot less interesting and the people involved are... I th yeah, I think the interesting question is if season two had been season one, mm. would they have picked it up for a second probably, series? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, actually, I don't, I'm not really sure because uh, there's not a lot of series like that going on, going yeah. around. I mean, this sort of uh, dark noir type uh, series about cops there they don't have a lot of those nowadays yeah. but i guess that's the sort of litmus test i mean obviously being picked up for a second reason mm. season has uh, there's elements of luck and, mm. and politics and sort of all of that going on as well but but it was obvious that after the first season there was going to be a second mm, season yeah. because it was so so mm. good yeah. um and I thought in the beginning, I thought that they're gonna that they're gonna completely change the characters. I think that was a really, really good idea. Just mm. do it, just com do a complete do over and mm. explore the similar kind of theme, yeah. kinds of themes with different actors. I thought that was a really good idea, but but uh, didn't turn out so well. Yeah, it's surprisingly hard to do. Yeah. I mean, when you think about it, if if you were able to take a, uh, a piece of drama and then reduce it to a mathematical formula that you could sort of like play around with. And then you just take that formula and create something else entirely that still has all these things that make the series interesting in it. Yeah. Or the variations of these things that make it interesting. And then, then it would be easy, but I mean, it's really, it's a tough thing to do to really coherently, continuously create something that is interesting. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens yeah. with it. Yeah, we can do.